Hi everyone. Welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about a quick preview of VMware announcements at VMware Explore 2023. This year, uh, I got a chance to attend the VMware Singapore event. So as we are aware, VMware Explore, usually VMware schedules a global event every year to discuss the latest product announcements, newly added functionalities or products, upcoming changes to the products and ongoing trends in the industry and many more. And this event, usually this global event is conducted in the multiple cities. Uh, last month, it was happened in uh, Las Vegas. And uh, two days ago, it was in Singapore, Marina Bay Sands. I attended for Singapore event. And we also have upcoming events in uh, Sao Paulo and uh, Japan, Tokyo, and another cities, Barcelona. Okay, so let's dive into the what's new in our VMware Explorer. So generally the keynote start with uh, our VMware CEO Raghu, and it's mainly talk about the a typical customer journey to the cloud. So generally for the cloud transition, it may start from cloud first to the, there will be a, so many uh, cloud chaos. The customer nowadays, as per the industry trends, the customers are already started using multi-cloud environments but there is no single pane of glass to manage the, all the environment. That is the challenges the customers are facing. So VMware is focusing on cloud smart. So instead of going for a, a cloud chaos challenges, directly transition from cloud first to cloud smart model. So that's why they say cloud smart approach in a, a multi-cloud world. So cloud smart approach in multi-cloud world is like a mainly uses for your VMware class cloud services, which delivers the accelerate app delivery. Within your accelerate app delivery, VMware focus on mainly two products, a combination of VMware Tanju and VMware Aria suit. And when it comes to the modernized cloud infrastructure, VMware utilizing VMware cloud and deliver auto, Autonomous workspaces, they are focusing on VMware Anywhere workspace. That means workspace one product and enable the software defined edge. They are using the VMware edge compute stack and the accelerate AI innovation. VMware introduced the new one, VMware private AI foundation, artificial intelligence foundation. Now let's understand uh, what's new for VMware cloud. So within a VMware cloud, there are uh, some integration with our partner, public cloud partnerships, and also VMware Cloud Foundation also, there may be some enhancements within your VCF. Previously, we have four series version. The latest version of VCF is 5.0. And within VCF, we have a combination of software stack, which includes vSphere, NSX, vSAN, virtual SAN, and within a virtual SAN, the main product, one of the newly added functionality is virtual SAN Max. This, this virtual SAN Max feature is mainly for petabyte scale disaggregated storage. And within a NSX Plus, they also included a ransomware recovery, so mainly for accelerated recovery. And NSX Plus also coming with the VPC. It's inspired by public cloud VPC feature, even VMware cloud also including with the VPC functionality to consistent multi-cloud networking and security. So using VMware cloud experience, we can have a self-service portal with a single plane of glass. We can manage all the multiple cloud environments, not only on-premises, private cloud, we can also integrate it with multiple public clouds. The currently VMware cloud is able to integrate with the multiple public clouds, which includes VMC on AWS, VMware cloud on AWS, Azure VMware solution, Google cloud VMware engine, and Oracle VMware, Oracle cloud VMware solution, and IBM cloud for VMware solution. So these are all the compatible with VMware cloud. So whoever any customers are already using public cloud and these all the five cloud models, they can able to manage within your VMware cloud management console, cloud management portal, we can manage all their platforms. Okay, now let's dive into the actual products. What is the version changes and also the 
any new changes to the existing products. Generally, VMware most of the uh, tracks divided into these four tracks, cloud and edge infrastructure, modern applications and cloud management, network and security, and hybrid workspace. As we are aware, cloud and edge means generally the most common product is VCF, VMware Cloud Foundation. Within your VCF, definitely there may be a, some new product, uh, add newly added functionalities, okay, within your VCF and also some latest version within vSphere, vSAN and all. That is the expectation. And similarly, in the modern applications means we, we can say that is VMware Tanju portfolio. And networking and security means the main product is NSX. And within a hybrid workspace, workforce, the main product is VMware Workplace One, Workforce One. Okay, so let's talk about the first track, cloud and edge infrastructure. So we have a vSphere 8.0. It's updated with the latest version now, update two. So when we have update two, definitely there may be some enhancements. So vSphere currently, it's supporting on DPUs, data processing units, and also it's enhanced with the AML, AML workload platform. And even vSphere, if you want to use AML workload platform, we can able to partner with our one of the VMware strategic partner solution, like uh, we can use Ray. Ray is like a, uh, for example, better understanding of Ray. Generally, we use for container orchestration, we are using a Tanju. Similarly, for AML workload orchestration, VMware using their partner solution that is Ray, R -E -Y, Okay. And vSphere 8.0, there are some additional uh, two GPU capacity. Each VMs can support for a multiple GPU capacity. And also, it's uh, this platform 8.0 update to platform is sustainable IT footprint. Okay. And another one, vSAN also, our version is upgraded to update to 8.0, update to. And as we are aware, vSAN is now with the latest version. We will get the improved performance and the scalability for, scalability for our vSAN storage. And also vSAN currently it's available in a two storage architectures. One is OSA and ESA. OSA means it's a normal traditional architecture. It's a uh, original storage architecture. When it comes to ESA, it's a express storage architecture. But only difference is when we have vSAN OSA, ordinary storage architecture, we can say we have we can use mixed of drives like a hard drive hybrid mode. And when it comes to the express storage architecture, all recommended is flash drives or NVMe drives. Okay. And another pro value added feature within the vSAN is vSAN Max. Max is mainly specifically they released for a petabyte scale disaggregated storage. Okay. And now VCF, as usual, VCF version also updated to 5.0. As we are aware, VCF is com combination of vSphere, vSAN, NSX, and also the ARIA suit. So all those products also now mapped with the latest version match to the VCF 5.0. And within a VCF 5.0, VM supports also 16 virtual GPUs, and also it reduces upgrade times and increase the speed of the operations. And normally VCF is faster deployment and upgrades. Generally, if you want to deploy a vSphere, ESX, vCenter, storage edition, and we have to configure an NSX separately, these all will be a multiple time taking tasks. When we are using a VCF, most of the time it will be a faster deployment and upgrades can be performed using VCF, VCF LCM, lifecycle management. So compared to individual product, addition, VCF will always be a faster deployment, okay? Now, another edge level. What is the edge level the enhancement is? They are started introducing another one that is called VMware Edge Cloud Orchestrator. So this Edge Cloud Orchestrator is like a GitOps model uh, for you to be able to manage your entire fleet at the edge. Okay, it's a, another example is, so for example, most of the organizations, let's say any retail industry or any of the other you know, medical industries or anything, 
they have a multiple edge locations all the edge location they do not have a technical team on the remote sites so what they will utilize is when they are using a this kind of edge cloud orchestrators what it will do is with a zero touch provisioning that means without a contacting a, with with a simple zero touch provisioning they can implement their cluster will be ready they no need to perform any additional steps that kind of automation it is providing through the edge cloud orchestrator it's almost like a uh, gits up model for you to able to manage your entire fleet at the edge okay now let's talk about the modern applications and cloud management so vmware coming up with the strategy of combination of tanju and aria so within a tanju they have a product portfolio a huge port product portfolio within that one key comp key product is tanju application platform tap tap so this tap expanded with a new feature called application engine so this application engine just like uh, we already aware how we can prepare a blueprints within our aria automation today for our infrastructure to automate our provisioning that gives you the ability to do the auto provisioning of our virtual machines similarly the same thing application engine also will do for our applications okay now another feature is tanju intelligent services so this the intelligent services mainly for a additional additional feature coming with a tanju and another one is tanju intelligent assist so this intelligent assist from vmware they are included within a tanju console or when you are accessing your tanju hub you will see there is a feature called intelligent assist it's it's like a conversational assistant chat on conversational chat like how we are using a chat gpt similar way the same kind of chat gpt kind of experience we will get within a vmware tanju hub we can use tanju intelligent assist okay we can write any query on the issues troubleshooting or any information on all it will help you to assist for a whatever the workflow models or any of the uh, aml workloads anything you missed also it will provide you with the conversational assistance okay and when comes to the networking and security they introduced the nsx plus it's a saas based product okay normally previously we have a nsx edition now we have a nsx plus also and within a vmware nsx plus it's same like a tanju intelligent assist we also have a nsx plus intelligent assist it's also same like a conversational assistant feature okay we can do conversational chat if there are any issues or any queries or guidance is needed within a nsx plus platform okay and another one within nsx plus there is a additional features also protection from ransomware for enterprise networks and also disaster recovery purposes there are some newly included features okay and now another key point is nsx plus multi cloud vpc virtual private cloud this feature only will help you to integrate with our multi cloud environments okay like aws azure google oracle cloud ibm cloud okay when it comes to the hybrid workforce within our hybrid workforce we have the key product is vmware workspace 1 so within the vmware workspace 1 they in introduced a dex playbooks dex means digital employee experience playbooks okay and also same like tanju intelligent assist nsx plus intelligent assist the vmware also introduced intelligent assist in a workspace one also okay so this intelligent assistant will really helpful when there are any challenges or queries within the workspace one product okay so it's like a directly launch the chat and you can ask your queries it will reply with the required specific troubleshooting steps or necessary advisory steps okay and another one intel chip to cloud integration like uh, it's like a wake on lan features okay these are all the quick preview what is the main uh, products and the features they released as part of the vmware explorer okay and another key thing is 
last but not the least. So during the Explore, they also introduced VMware Private AI Foundation with NVIDIA. Okay, this platform mainly for your enterprise AI workloads. Okay, so overall, this all the features will helpful to modernize the cloud infrastructure and accelerate the applications delivery. And we can deliver the autonomous workspaces and also enable the software defined edge. And we can last but not the least, we can accelerate our AI innovation. And within the, if you want to run the VMware Private AI Foundation with NVIDIA, so we require a physical resources. One of the uh, repeated one is we can utilize the HP infrastructure or any of the other third party infrastructures. Okay. Uh, but most of the time we, within our server, like a DL380 Gen 10 plus or Gen 11 models, we should running with a NVIDIA GPUs like A100. 80 GB or any of the other NVIDIA processor required in order to run this AML workloads. Okay. So hope you understand the quick preview of our VMware Explore product announcements and the newly added functionalities. Okay. And I also took the, some random pictures at the VMware Explores. This is my picture and also a few of my friends. Okay. So thank you. If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Ignant Cloud Garage channel. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.